on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. So what's up guys? You guys want a free portable power station? Lithium powered S300, 300 watt portable power station that is? Stay tuned and I'll tell you how to win it. The S300 has a lithium ion battery, 7800 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt, 288 watt hour capacity, 3.4 kilograms, it's 8.2 by 6.5 by 4.3 inches, 300 watt continuous and a 500 watt surge. Has a 5 amp DC 12 volt outlet, 12 volt 10 amp car port, multi universal USB out, USB 3 is 5 volt 3 amp out, and USB C is a two way 60 watt input for charging and 100 watt output. Brought to you by All Powers. Has a nice little case with a charging adapter which is a 20 volt 3 amp output user's manual this is bluetooth capable the bluetooth app is in here to download which is an awesome feature of course it's solar charging capable 80 watt maximum input four to five hours to charge at that rate multilingual nice and compact it does have wireless charging on the top. Looks like it's got two lights on the front. On the right side is all your USB connections and your DC output connectors. On the left side, you have your input for your solar and your charger and your cigarette socket plug. Let's get it charged up so we can do a few tests. She was bone dead, boys. Three hours later. Fully charged. Has two lights. Pretty bright. Definitely useful in camping. That button turns the DC on. There we go, wireless charging. Let's see how many watts it pulls. Looks like about 5 watts. Let's get a cable and we'll test out these USB ports. DC power has to be on. Super fast charging. Triple tone is the super fast charge. Try these USB A ports. The fast charging. They're all fast charging. You can tell by the double tone. Looks like a nice clean sine wave there. 107.8 volts. 13.19 volts on a car socket. So it looks like DC. You can just hit it on and off. But AC, you have to hold to turn on and off. Same with Bluetooth. Now let's see how this will do on this fan. This fan is 2.65 amps at 120 volts. You can run the AC and the DC at the same time, it looks like. Hold the AC to turn it on. Roughly 263-264 watts. Said it's going to run an hour. Time is 8:52. See if it runs an hour. In the meantime, we'll get the Bluetooth app set up. Scan the app here. I already have the app because I've tested the R600 before. So to enable Bluetooth. Hold this down. We're going to add a Bluetooth device. It's like an S400, and there we go. So from here, you can turn the lights on and off. 
We turn the DC power on and off. And the USB on and off, of course. Looks like DC power and USB are combined, naturally. So it's showing 89% with 55 minutes left. And I'll have to come up with a good one for you guys to figure out to win. The first person to get the correct answer wins this unit. And we'll try a little solar charging if the sun cooperates. There is a little fan that's blowing out of this hole right now. So it does have cooling. This is a really nice compact unit for 300 watts, 500 peak. So DC on and off. 77% remaining. USB on and off. Linked with the DC. Your lights. Let's see what we have in settings here. I could change the name. So I guess there's really no other settings that you could do. And that's the Bluetooth app. It's 9.20 now and it's showing 40 minutes left. So that's actually pretty good. It picked up a little time. Move that fan down on the floor so I don't get so much noise on my mic here. You can see where the hot spots are on this. That right there, where the air vent comes out. It's not doing too bad. See the back? Time is 8.44, says he got seven minutes left. 9.45, and it just died. Gave up a good fight, did a good job actually. Let's try it on solar. I'm gonna use my 120 watt solar panel. I don't have that adapter, so I had to use this other adapter. So it's charging up pretty quick actually and it's at 38 percent already it's only been geez 15 minutes 62 watts uh, the sun's going away not bad coming up on an hour just solar it's been an hour and a half and we're at 80 percent 99 percent keeps hovering about there so a little over three hours and the solar panel charged her up This thing did pretty good for the size. They're coming down in price and they're very much more compact than the originals. The original 300 watt was probably that big by that big when they first come out about two years ago. So anybody that wants one of these, I'll put the links down below with a discount code if they give me one. And now for the big question, the first person to answer the very first video I did on the mini truck, the date and the year, wins this unit. So first one to comment with that, wins this bad boy. Packing it back up for you guys. Oh, you know what I should do? I'll even put a little MC on the bottom for Moto Cheese. So let's see who gets it first. Good luck. Nice little unit. Price very reasonable. 300 watt, 500 surge. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.